Okay, you're good. All right. All right. So today we're going to be teaching y'all how to uh, load a shotgun coil. All right. First off, you got to have center of your trailer. Most of our trailers are outfitted with a sticker from the factory that states the center of the trailer. Some of them actually have a sticker that says center of the load here. Well, what we do, most of the time your light's going to be centered, but not always. In this case, it's going to be center, so we're going to go just one stake pocket ahead of it because you can always slide your dams forward to make your weight right. You can't slide them back any farther once you get too heavy on the tank. So, what you want to do is, since you can't, it's a little dangerous to lean over the trailer and see what's on the side, take something, an edge protector, a piece of board, hammer, uh, your breaker bar, whatever. Uh, for today, I'm going to use this edge, I mean, this, uh, this coil rack right here. And that's going to be our, our center of our rack. Alright, so now we've established our center mark, okay? Now, accordingly. What we're going to need is one full bag for every 10,000 pounds of full. Always make sure they're, they're dead center and they're lined up and they're tied against the triangles of the, of the coal rack. And that is exactly what your coal rack should look like for a shotgun coal weighing up to 40,000 pounds. Once you get your coil loaded, like I said, this is a 38,800 pound coil. So that is 400 pounds over what it takes for four chains. You'll also have four straps on this. That will make up for the difference in security. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna throw the first two chains through the center of the coil. Just like on the other, on the suicide coil, lace it in your hand. Just enough to get through the coal. What you want to do is follow the front of the coal straight down to the edge of the trailer, and that's where you're going to hook your chain. Just level with the back of it. And what these will do will be pulling flush with the back and the front, the first two chains crossed in the middle. Since this chain was our first chain that we threw, it's going to be on the bottom. So pull it, it's kind of pop it, okay? You want it to be, uh, you want it to be at bottom dead center pulling through the coal. And take your bungee. You don't have to pull it too tight. It's just to hold it until you get your edge protector. Now we're ready. Okay, so. Now that we've got our chains on, we got our bungees holding them tight. Like I said, it's kind of hard when you don't have enough hands. The bungees kind of help you. That's why they're there. What you want to do is you want to put them on the driver's, the passenger side first, and then the driver's side. It makes it a lot easier. Now these first two chains, you want your edge protectors, you want your chain running right through the center of your edge protectors. Because the next ones that go on are going to be riding up here. Okay. 
Now we're ready for our next change. Since we started here in the back, this chain goes through and it's on top. This chain goes through and it's on top and they're crossed. These chains will lay just right there on the north side of these. Alright, so now that we got our chains on, this is the one on the bottom, this is the next one, this is the next one, and this is the one on top. If you get into a routine, it's, it's muscle memory. Again, we're going to hook about, about three lengths in from the edge of the trailer and have the apex of our chain pointed at where it's coming through the coil. Turn our hooks in. That's too loose. Gonna be our next one because it's the next one up. Same thing, we're gonna go about three lengths in.
Now we're ready for our black coffee. All right, so what you want to do is once you get your black tarp on, you don't want to be fighting it while you're trying to get your red tarp on. So once you put it on, take your straps. You want a strap for the front leading edge of your coil and the rear edge of your coil. What you need to do is put one for every foot of the coil in the middle. Not technically for securement, but more so for your tarp job. It makes the longevity of your tarp job more efficient. All right, so once you get your black tarp on, your straps on top of your black tarp, you put your red tarp on and center it up best you can. What you're gonna start with, like any other tarp job, is gonna be the four corners of your load. Do that for each side. Pull the front forward. And the back back. Do that for each side. Also, like put one right here in the middle, pulling down. All right. So once you get your four corners pulled, you want to you just want to do your middle section first, get it good and high. Then what you're going to do is pull this around. Tuck this excess in here. Pull the front around back like that. You're gonna do the same thing. <clears throat> do the same thing on the rear. Establish your edge. So just inside the edge of the trailer. Hold it. Do that front and back. Get your front 
front of your back, but it's just pulled around to the side. You're going to find a corner back here. You're going to stay with your backdrop, your, your base of it over here. Sometimes you can fold this on up underneath, but this coil is so tall that this is not coming all the way down here for us to throw our, throw our straps across it. So what we're going to do is set things like this and then we'll throw a strap right across here and pull this down real nice and tight. DOT states that you have to throw your straps through the rub rail when practical. Right now it's not really practical with their chains in the way. So what we're going to do is turn the, the stamping to the right on our strap. So we're going to tighten this up. really watch it come together as you tighten it up. And we'll do that on the front too. We kind of want to run it uphill best you can. Like I said, put that twist in it. It'll make it really rigid right there in the middle. So, the only other thing we could do on this is sometimes you might want to put another strap right here, but this is really good and flat and tight, so we're going to leave it the way it is. And this is basically the way you need to do your shotgun pulls. This is going to wiggle very little going down the road. 